What's up guys? How is Shiro Tour Reviews doing another unpackaging? This time on something that I haven't gotten. I haven't bought in like over a year, I would say. Um, this time we are showing off some mini mates. Um, if you're not sure what mini mates are, if you haven't seen my some of my older videos, uh, mini mates are basically like blocky miniature action figures. Um they're pretty, uh, yeah, they're pretty mainstream. They've been around since, uh, like, 2000, 2001. So they've been around for pretty much almost 20 years now. It's pretty crazy when you think about it. Um, but they're mostly known for their Marvel, Marvel mini-mates. Uh, they're basically kind of like Legos, but, you know, you're, you're not, they're not, like, sets. It's just the, the minifigures. In like packs, like two packs or four packs or like box sets. The box sets are like four figures and accessories and that type of thing. Um, there are like way too many mini mates for me to count. They all have different licenses or whatever. Um, but they are really fun to collect and I do enjoy having them. I had a, when I was really getting into them, I had them all out on display. But um, the past two years, I've like have some in like on display on my wall and others are in storage, but um, I am wanting to make some customs. So that is the main reason why I have bought in, um, some mini mates, but yeah, without further ado, let's see. I think it's only this package. I have another package, but it's not really anything worth showing. Um, yes, it's the mini mates. So we have, Let's see. Ooh. I got these for a good deal, actually. Um, I'm going to use these for customs. Okay. So we have um, X-Men First Class uh, Mini Mates. So we have from left to right, we have Havoc, Beast, and uh, Magneto. So I was going to use their flight suits for um, to make some custom characters. Um, yeah. So, uh, but also, I have been binging, I think I said in another review, I've been binging the 90s X-Men show, like, for the past, this past month, like, the majority of May, and I'm halfway through it. Um, the beginning of June, so yeah, but I've been in a big X-Men mood, oh, and I don't have any X-Men, I have a few X-Men figures, but not like big enough to have a collection of X-Men characters, um, let's see, so we have Mystique, don't see her all that well, quality's kind of blurry, yeah, can't see her that well. But I might show show these guys off again in another video. Um, yeah, she's cool. Um, yeah, so uh, of course, mini mates are made by Domus Select. Domus Select has made um, a lot of figures for the X Men movies. Um, they started with the last, with the third movie, X Men: Last Stand, and here we have. Professor X, Charles Xavier. Um, yeah, these are all in good quality. Still in good quality. Shoot, these are maybe close to 10 years old, I want to say. I, I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to have to look up when that movie came out. But um, as you can see, we have Mystique, Beast, Professor, um, I mean Magneto, Havoc, and Professor X. Sorry, the can't really see them all that great. Can't really see the detail on them all that great. Um, they come with, oh, okay. So the seller threw in some stands. And Magneto comes, which is, which is nice, comes with his uh, helmet. So let me show that off real quick. Move his hair. And there we go. That's cool. Yeah, he looks cool. Let's 
Oh, I'm going to stand on one leg. Yeah. <laughs> so, there's Magneto with a helmet. Um, so where was I? Yeah, so um, there's a lot of characters I would like to get. A lot of X's. They've done so many X-Men characters. Um, like, yeah, so most likely I'm going to collect the X-Men characters through Minimates. But, uh, yeah, um, they started with Last Stand, and then they made uh, figures for X-Men First Class, Days of Future Past, which I have one set from that wave or that line coming in the mail. And they did um, they did the Wolverine. They had mini mates for the Wolverine, and that was that was it. They stopped after that. They didn't do any for um, I guess so. Yeah, I guess Future Past was the last one they did figures for. They didn't do any for Apocalypse. They didn't do any for Dark Phoenix. They didn't do anything for Logan, which is kind of disappointing. They could maybe I think they could do one for Logan. That would have been cool to get a. X-23 Minimate, which she has gotten Minimates before, but not based off the Logan movie. Um, yeah. But they mostly stuck with, like, the comics, pretty much, um, making figures based off the comics. Um, but speaking of Wolverine, the seller also had, uh, uh, the Wolverine, uh, Wolverine, <laughs> Um, this is how he appeared at the funeral, or what they thought was the funeral. Um, and this is cool, because I have a uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Wolverine mini-mate, and he doesn't come with hair. So even though this hair is a little bit more realistic, I could put this on my other Wolverine. Um, but he's cool. I like I like he's wearing all black, and he has the, the, the suits tie and you know so seller kept these in good good condition i'm grateful for that so yeah i got an extra wolverine along with these first class mini mates um but yeah um something else i wanted to say yeah so when i first saw first class um i didn't care for it at first which is funny. Yeah, uh, me and my folks saw the movie when it came out, when it released, and uh, didn't care for it. Um, I grew up with the Hugh Jackman series, with him and the other you know, actors, Patrick Stewart, Halle Berry, um, Anna Paquin, all those people. Um, Ian McKellen, so the first three movies, like, I grew up with those movies. Um, I know they're not everybody's cup of tea, but, you know, it's nostalgia for me. So I was used to those characters, those actors playing those characters. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't care for First Class. Um, i trying to remember, uh, I, I can't, at the moment, I can't remember the name of the two actors who portrayed Professor X and Magneto in first class, but um, as the years have went on and I've rewatched the movie, it's not a bad movie. It is it's a good movie. It's it's good. Um, I feel like maybe it could have been better in some areas, but the actors playing Professor X and Magneto. The actress, I forgot her name, um, who was Mystique Raven, um, they all did a great job with those characters. They kind of made those characters their own to a degree. A lot of people don't care for what they've done with Mystique's character in the movies, like in the in the uh, new timeline with the new cast. A lot of people don't like what they've done with her and yeah, a mix about it. Feel like they kind of strayed too far away from the comics, but we're not gonna get to that. Um, but yeah, First Class is a good movie. Future Past was good. Apocalypse was okay. Could have been better. It, it could have been better. The fight scenes were good. Um, and I haven't even seen Dark Phoenix because I heard it was a hot mess, <laughs> and 
I don't know. It was like, yeah. maybe not all the cast, but a good chunk of the cast just kind of just were sort of just kind of phoning it the whole time. Like they were just kind of drained from doing those movies at that point, and that's kind of a turn off. That the actors were it really didn't didn't really have it have their all in it, and far as far as making Dark Phoenix, so. I'll watch it eventually. <laughs> like, I haven't even seen the 2015 Fantastic Four all the way through. And I love the Fantastic Four. So, yeah. But anyway, um, that's it for this unboxing. Um, like I said, I have more mini mates coming, mostly using these characters for custom, making custom, making figures of my custom OC characters. Um, so yeah, we'll show those when they arrive. But uh, that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more.